Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do these colourful Toy Story inspired nails. Now I don't know about you guys, but Toy Story is one of my favourite movies and I loved them when I was a kid and I love them even more now that I'm an adult. Now before we begin, I need to give 100% credit of inspiration to Banner, aka Bannercured here on YouTube. She's got an amazing channel and I'll make sure that I link it down below so you guys can go and check out her work. So let's get to the tutorial. First I'm going to show you how to do this Andy nail, inspired by the way that Andy writes his name on the bottom of all of his toy's feet. Start with a base coat to limit the staining on your nail and then paint your nail brown. Next I'm taking black acrylic paint and a thin nail art brush and I'm going to paint the letters onto my nail. The best part about this is that the name's messy anyway so you really don't have to worry about making it perfect. When you're happy with how it looks, add a top coat to seal the design and to also stop the paint from washing off. I am going to be making my nails matte, so I'm using a matte top coat. And that's how you paint the Andy nail. I just love how quick and easy this design is. Next up is this design that's based on Woody's shirt and vest. Start by painting your nail yellow. And when it's totally dry, take a thin striper brush and red acrylic paint and then paint a crisscross pattern onto the nail. Now this part is a little harder, but the acrylic paint is easy to remove and redo if you need to, or you can just tidy it up with a toothpick by scratching at the sides of the paint. When you're happy with how it looks, seal it with a quick dry top coat and let it dry completely. Next, you'll need French tip tapes like these from What's Up Nails. Apply two onto the nail like this and then paint inside each tape with white polish and remove the tapes quickly. Using black polish and a dotting tool, dot two large dots onto the middle of the nail for buttons, and then with a smaller dotting tool, add two white dots onto the black. With the larger dotting tool and black polish, randomly add dots all over the white to recreate the cow print of Woody's vest, and then with a thin nail art brush and black paint, draw a heap of tiny lines onto the edge of the white for all of the stitching. For the finishing touch, take a gold polish and small nail art brush and paint the star onto the vest for Woody's sheriff badge. Outline it in black and then seal the design with top coat. Next up is the Buzz Lightyear nail, inspired by Buzz's spacesuit. Start by painting the nail white and letting it dry completely. Take another French tip tape and apply it halfway down the nail. Now using liquid palisade by Kiesk or any peel off barrier that you have, draw a small triangle in the middle of the nail. Now this is why I love Liquid Palisade because it has this precision tip, so you're able to do this. Most peel-off barriers have quite a fat tip, so you can't actually get the precision work that you need. Paint the top half of your nail green and then remove the Liquid Palisade and the tape. Use a thin striper brush and purple paint to draw two lines diagonally underneath the green. With blue polish, draw the badge on top of the nail. Now it's not exactly a square, so just draw whatever shape that you're comfortable doing. Outline it with white polish and a small nail art brush. With red paint and a dotting tool, add a dot onto the lower right section of the green, and then with a the mid-green paint, draw a small line between the badge and the top of the V on the bottom of the green. Taking white paint, draw the logo onto the badge, or something that resembles it. A scribble will be fine because it is tiny anyway, and we are just getting into the detail work of this nail now, so really, just do whatever you're comfortable with. With yellow paint and the nail art brush, add a yellow line for Buzz's name tag, and then the three buttons on the left side with red, green, and blue paint. Seal it all with a top coat and you're done with Buzz. <laughs> Lastly, I'll be painting the sky and clouds nail inspired by Andy's wallpaper. Start by painting it now blue and please remember to add a base coat on all of these designs as most of these colours are really really big stainers. Next take a large dotting tool and white polish and dot six dots in a group to make a cloud shape. Repeat this all over the nail until you're happy with how it looks. Clean up any extra mess with an angled brush and polish remover and then seal the design with top coat. I also did this cloud pattern on my thumb because it's just really eye-catching and really easy to do. And that's it! This design is just so easy to do with so few tools. 
and the result is really eye-catching and amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I would love to see your recreations.